Hello everyone, those who don't know me, my name is Cal. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some herbs and spices that you keep in your cupboard. If not, if you don't keep these herbs and spices, some knowledge for you if you are thinking of keeping or using any of them. What are we using? Especially if you're using herbs and spices in your cooking day to day. And it's probably nice to have that little bit of knowledge to know about the herbs and spices that we use in our daily cooking. The herbs really interest me and what made it more interesting was I wanted to find out a little bit more. And why I've chosen this because I was so interested in it and it's taught me a lot by having a look at some of these herbs that I've been looking at. With these herbs and spices I think it's very important and it will beneficial for people that suffer with diabetes, any heart condition, lungs, kidneys problems. Because if we take too much of these herbs and spices, not knowing we could be doing more damage to ourselves. I researched a little bit more into what I knew into these herbs and spices because I wanted more information. And I was always intrigued by one spice and that is garam masala. I love the smell of the garam masala. I'm going to share what I know and what I found out with you. I've only ever seen it in a powder form. Everything within reason is good for us, but if we take too much of it and we've got some conditions, then even herbs and spices that we are using could be bad for us. Now this is the garam masala. This is in a powder form and this is what I've always seen. And did you know there's so many different types of masalas? And I'm going to share two of them with you. We're taking a look at the garam masala. There is so many of the coriander seeds, cumin seeds, black pepper, dried ginger in the garam masala, bay leaves, cloves, and the black cardamom. Don't know how you pronounce this one, Cassie. It's spelled C A S I A. And this is what we have in the biryani. The only thing that isn't in there that is in the garam masala are these round ones, which is the coriander. So this is better. I've put it onto a plate so we can have a better look at it. So the biryani has cumin in it, clove, star, ansi, cinnamon, black cardamom, bay leaves. And also what the important thing is to check the dates of their expiry. Very important to check the dates. If you don't get the aroma and you don't have the date on it, you know it's out of date. So that is the biryani one. With the biryani masala, I'm going to grind it. And what you can do is take out any bits that you don't want, say like the cinnamon. And there we have it. If you wanted to know a bit more, you can research it. And there are so many, so many different types. And if not, just go to the stores where they have all these herbs and spices and you'll be very very surprised at the amount of masala you can get i mean i'm aware you get my fish masala where you get chicken masala tikka masala there's that many types so garam masala has plenty of other spices that are all mixed in the garam masala so that is also worth knowing I was quite impressed with what goes in there. So now when I'm cooking, I can ease off with the products that are already in the garam masala. Pink salt. Pink salt is believed to be healthier. If you do take salt, think about how much you're taking in daily and think about reducing it if you have any heart conditions, kidney problems. Pink salt is known to be healthier to the common table salt.
table salt consists of two elements, the sodium and the chloride, which do not separate from each other. Salt is important to flush our fluids. Be careful of the intake though, if you have any conditions. Next one is the turmeric, golden yellow. Used in food, medicines, helps you, protect you with healthy cells. Turmeric is one that I use a lot of and um, if I'm cooking any curries, I will definitely put some turmeric in. But turmeric is used in many, many ways. Turmeric, you can get some capsules. People are buying them from health shops and protecting their body. But turmeric is that beneficial for you that it helps healthy cells in the colon. It also helps heart condition. Years ago, turmeric was used to dye fabric. Turmeric is also used for Asians' weddings. The night before or two nights, they make a paste, bride and groom-to-be. Also helps with skin complexion to clear it. A lot of people do use this, make their own at home. We'll look at that another time, hopefully. Next, I'm going to move on to the black pepper. These are the whole black pepper. I just love the way that is, so they just crush. Now these are whole, you can get crushed ones. However, black pepper can be used in tea. People who have kidney stones are best kept away from black pepper. This is not good for people with kidney stones. Cinnamon, you can get cinnamon tea, cereal, sweet, savoury. There are so many benefits of taking cinnamon. Cinnamon helps our body in a lot of ways. Cinnamon also helps if you have a lot of pain in your neck. Next, we're talking about the cloves. The cloves are, again, fantastic. They are used in teas, cooking, using it as a spice, but you can also get clove oil. Clove oil helps all the toothaches. So if you apply clove oil to the gums, it can help with toothache and also helps with bacteria. Also, if you use too much cloves, it can damage the liver. It can boost the immune system and it can also help with sore throat. Crushed red chilies. Chilies boost your metabolism. Red chilies can help you reduce hunger. Red chilies can also help the immune system stay stronger. It boosts the immunity. This helps by clearing any blockages in the blood vessels. Again, very hot, very spicy, leaving you with a burning sensation in the mouth if you have too much. Again, if you have gallstones, it will aggravate those gallstones. You can take your own chilies and grind them in a blender, as I'm showing you here. Penny Greek, also known its Indian name as Mithi. Most commonly used herb, particularly used in the North India for cooking. If any Greek leaves, they are added to flavour your food. And some people only add them right near the end of their cooking to get that extra flavouring. Fenugreek Greek leaves are used for cooking, curries, soups, sauces and some vegetable dishes. Fenugreek Greek always have little bits in it so it's best to blend them. The next item I'm going to talk to you about is the cumin seeds. Cumin seeds, another name known as jeera. And these are whole cumin seeds. You can get them also grinded. I hope that was a good picture there for you to see. Again, that is also put into the garam masala, also in the biryani masala. 
Cumic seeds are great to use as a whole as they are into your cooking, curries, soups, etc. And they can be also used in a powder form. They are used in curries, stews and soups. They give a lovely aroma. Too much cumic seeds can lead to liver and kidney damage. So if you know anybody with liver or kidney damage, this is something to be aware of and it's knowledge for yourself if you're cooking so you can cut down with cumic seeds. In diabetes, cumic seeds might lower the blood sugar level. And for those people who are using items and not aware of it, I'm so I really do hope that this has helped. So these are some of the spices that I use that I wanted to share with you and bring just that little bit of knowledge I hope I've brought for yourselves and I hope it's been beneficial for you. In comments today, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you have learned anything new with these spices today. I mean, all the spices in the garam masala were very interesting to me to know. I was not aware it was packed with coriander. Have you learned anything new from this video today with all these spices? Having a look at the garam masala, the biryani, and what did you learn? And also, health-wise. So if you're using too much, of you've learned, oh, I have this condition and I shouldn't be having as much as I've all. I have learned that I need to cut down. Just let me know in comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like it. And also, if you have not subscribed to our channel, I would love you to subscribe. And thanks for watching. And I shall see you again in my next video. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.